please pause this video and answer the question before continuing. In this question, we want to solve the given equation for x. Now when you encounter expressions where there are equal bases and the powers are added or subtracted, it's often a good idea to factor these expressions as follows. Now if you are not yet familiar with factoring, you can learn more about this technique in the algebra module. Notice that we can also take this expression and factor out 4 to the power of 2x as follows. From here the equation is relatively easy to solve. First, when we evaluate 4 squared minus 1, we get 15. And next, we can evaluate 4 to the power of 1 minus 1 to get 3. We can now simplify 15 over 5 to get 3. And finally, when we divide both sides by 3 here, we get the following. Since the two bases here are equal, we can apply this rule that says the two exponents must be equal. From here, if we subtract x from both sides, we get x equals negative 2, so the answer must be d.